At only five months old, baby Amelia's future may already be known. Amelia is part of a large research study at the Inova Fairfax Hospital in Virginia, where scientists are mapping the genetic codes of newborns. This study is one of the first to explore whether mapping someone's genes should be done so early in life. Genomics really is about determining what, what variants we have in our genome that are unique to us as individuals and that might predict risk of disease. John Niederhuber is overseeing the study. The research is highly experimental, but if it pans out, parents may one day use this kind of information to plan ahead. If I know that I have a risk for, uh, for certain heart disease, I, I might manage my life with a little better diet, a little better nutrition than I currently do. But not all parents may want to know if their child is more susceptible to heart disease or cancer down the road. If we do detect it early, how do you communicate that to the parents? What's the responsibility? Only actionable results from the study will be shared with the patient's physicians, who will then advise the families on next steps. But the question of what's actionable forms the heart of the debate. We know what technology, where the technology is going. We want to find out more information and find that out faster, but really to have that or to put that into the context of what should we be giving back to families and, and to patients. So far, Holly Sloan hasn't gotten any worrisome results about her daughter. She would prefer to have the information either way. So even if it was something I didn't want to hear, I'd rather know so that I can take steps to kind of try to correct any health problems. Babies like Amelia are pioneers on the newest frontier in the genetic revolution, where families can know future health risks from day one. Jill Craig, Associated Press.